Groups essentially are a quick way to share a project with a specific set of people. Looking in the Groups tab, uh, you can see that I have one created already that consists of four people. If I want to add someone else in it, into it, I would go about it like that and add the person into my user group. Any person I've added before can be removed from it and they will no longer have access to the project that has been shared with the user group. So when I want to create a new group, I would simply need to give it a title and description. And after that, I will be able to add those people into the group. How to use it though? Well, when I'm creating a project, as you remember, I can opt to share it with the users of a specific group if I make it private. This is the second option in the members access. And in here is where I will be seeing the list of available user groups that I have created before. So basically, uh, any people who are a member of this group will get access to the project I'm creating. And anybody else who I include into the group at a later point will also see that project from there on. Let's go back to Workspace now and take a look at the roles. 